Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode Colonel, number 27 of my Days Gone Let's Play series. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. The fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then, a fair hanging. By the neck. Until dead. Uh, yes. Fair trial. Alright, so I got radio by Curry that, uh, about Taylor. So we can go up to the ski lodge. Then, uh, but right, anyway, just reporting in. St. John out. Should we go in here first, get some fuel? He's, uh, he's one of ours. Let him in. fucking stop getting caught on the gate every time you try to enter an area? Uh, oh my god, I can't drive. Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Doc Menace? Recruit slit his throat ear to ear. This is stole some drugs, I heard. Yes. Yeah. See you, Corporal. Bye. Keep that bike close, yeah? Alright, let me out. I got the gate. Thank you. Alright, it's been a few days since I played again. Just like the last episode, I've been playing other this things. Radio free Oregon. The truth shall set us free. Truth shall set us free. for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bike's actually completely fine. Catch you later. I'll let them keep shooting at freaks. That's fine. Let them do their thing. There is a lot of crows in the air. What is over here? That's because they're nice. Right. Gotta finish burning out this investigation. So. Just made it. Guess I'll come back later. Burn out these nests. Yes, we shall. We're gonna go get Taylor. Piece of shit. Killing the doctor. Whoa. One day I'm gonna like go through one of these crevasses and they're just gonna have stuck a breaker there and he's just gonna mess me up. Whoa! Oh! That seems oddly suspicious. There's like a trail of gas cans. A can of fuel. I mean, I'll take it. Why wouldn't I? I feel like it'd be silly to not take the opportunity to fill up on fuel. Oh. St. John, you there? Weaver. Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey. Come to you, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out and look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize the cutscene was gonna trigger so early. Taylor, 
Butler. What the hell are you doing out here? This is it. What do we got? You're mine now. You're mine now. Um. All righty. Could make something out of this. Fucking newts, dude. I hate them. Look at how quick the little shit is. I gotta find a way inside. You're in here. Oh, no, you're not. You're in pass. Mm, fucking newts. Ah. Oh. Can't aim in this game. Where are you, sniper boy? Little newts are just gonna watch, man. Ow. Oh my fucking god, man. Alright, these things are just floating. Nope. No. Okay. Okay, I'm back to where I was. Where's this one lady gone? Give me all this stuff. Where's this chick? Are you kidding? Alright. Oh! What the fuck? Oh, Taylor's in here. Taylor. It's Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? They're fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. I don't wanna... Please... Don't let them hang me. Fuck. Fuck. Please, man. Okay, wait.
St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. Deacon has more of a heart than he lets on. For sure. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. It's fair. I can tell you right now, the Colonel is not going to be happy about this. Fucking drug addicts, man, even in a zombie apocalypse slash freaker apocalypse, they'll do anything. To get a fix, dude. They really will. Loading screens, take me home to the place I belong. There we go. Well. When we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, Colonel. All right. Oh, a new skill. So I did put a couple uh, skill points in. I put one in a quick reload and one in a dead shot, and I'm gonna probably put this one into ammo capacity. So now I can have more ammo. I don't know how much it actually increases it to. I think it was 35 and 105. Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? There you go. Yeah, okay. 35 and 175. Nice. So it's 200 total. See ya, Corporal. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to So an extra you. 60. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Sweet. I really hope it works. I doubt it will, just because, you know, extend the game even longer, da da da, but it would be cool if it did. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. And then it doesn't work and the freaker kills everybody in the camp. Just rips them to shreds.
gas cans, refuel bikes, and generators. Wow. Deacon, oh, come let's in. Go. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific. Oh, one of that course I'm there is. Oh wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected Great. newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. I don't want to see it, man. St. John, report. Oh. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Corey out. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Wow. Sir, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. <laughs> No, don't kill it. Good night. We got the newt. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Distract the criers. That would be a great idea if I was going to go clear those crying nests. Mm. Use the old attractor. Gross. Then it wakes up mid motorcycle ride and we get killed in a horrible fashion. The enemies usually can climb as fast as you, so you use ledges to trip up enemies. Oh, I usually can't. Is it just going to like load us all the way back there or are we going to have to ride back there? I'm thinking it's taking us straight there, by how long this is taking. Fucking Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain. Uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker. Mm. Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh no, no, I can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. Give me my fucking ring, you prick. 
Okay. <sighs> now, I'm sure that thing's like pissed a billion times in its pants and you're now just noticing the smell. You imagine like the, the, the freak is still go to the toilet. Like they still go to a toilet. Come on, help me. So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. Did he kill it? Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew, I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! It wasn't meant to kill it. But you, you, you're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought and we won. And what did we get? Bodies, bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back, because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this.
We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what could the Colonel want? Corporal St. John. I mean, Co Girl, Corporal. Sir. Yeah, Colonel. Come with me, please. He's going to show off Weaver's weapon or something, isn't he? And they're going to be like, It is time to go to war on these freaks. We shall annihilate them. All of them shall burn. Right? Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <sighs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. Well, we're gonna go just burn a horde to death with fucking napalm molotovs. That's insane. Are we going to ride to a horde or are we going to cutscene to a horde? Probably cutscene to a horde, I would guess. For how long this is taking. I figure that I think should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I've got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Clear the chem. Oh. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Oh, Hawk's got nothing to do with it. This sucks ass, dude. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Let's go, boy! 
boys, right here! Another bounty. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't hit a fucking thing. You're hungry? Yeah, oh shit. Well, the thing is, the horde's moving away from me. No shit! You don't gotta tell me! Oh god. Holy fuck! Go! Oh Jesus Christ. What are we supposed to do, Corey? Corey, we're fucked. Say, John, get out of there. I'm out of here. Moving. Say, John, damn it. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're dead. This is going to be annoying. I need to pull a few at a time. Hmm. I've got more Molotovs, ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's going to come in handy. Okay, the, the remote bombs is a good plan. Uh... Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Oh, Hawk's got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
Jesus Christ. Little bit by little bit, I guess. Okay, a lot of them will burn, hopefully. Ticking down slowly. Oh, I got a few of them after me. That's manageable with a gun. Got a few after me. Time for a Molotov. How's it looking, Captain? Looks like you got about a quarter of them. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm trying. A quarter. What about if we throw in a tractor? Do we throw one of those? Holy shit. It works. Weaver's Molotov works. I can see the flames from here. Then it does. More to come. 
How's that feel, huh? Come on, you sons of bitches! Oh, you don't like that, do you? You like that, do you? Let's do this, come on! Going down, yeah! Brush me for you! What is this? An airbag, huh? So I like the attractor strategy. Can we get more mollies by chance? I don't know how. I want to go back and I want to check to see if we can. If not, we're going to have to try and do it with the remote mines. Not that I'm a big fan of that idea, but... That might be the plan. Just coming up here for a second, mate. More ammo. Corey, you're expecting a lot from me without having the supplies that I really need to do this shit. God damn it. I mean, we're halfway, but I've burnt through every Molotov I had. I feel like the attractor would have been a better idea towards the start. And I feel silly for not thinking of it first. I'm thinking, shit, I hope it doesn't hit daylight, that's gonna fuck us up with the horde. Um, if I can place down one of these remote mines and get a bunch of them on me, that could be good. Not really working as intended, is it?
John, there's a swarm on you. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, come on. I have enough for an old Molly. Molly. More. Oh, you don't like that, do you? The horde, it's right on top of you. Yeah, it's not. No, nah, not yet, it's not. Fresh meat for you. Slowly making its way over bits and pieces. Come on, you sons of bitches. Ammunition is the issue. You like that, do you? Problem. How do I get out of here? I don't have any more polystyrene. Oh. Alright, it's go time. I had enough for one. Down, yeah. You 
Like that? Do you? Fresh meat for you. Oh, you don't like that, do you? In there slowly. Come on, you sons of bitches! Yeah, come on! We're out of take this methodically. How's that feel, huh? Going down, yeah! You like that? Do you? Fresh meat for you! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Alright, that was a good chunk. Come on, last bit. Everybody pile up. John, forty in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you, Captain? Uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news. Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. Saint John out. Ooh, man, that, um... Can we not do that? <laughs> and there are people who have gone around and killed all the hordes in Days Gone. I think they're fucking off their heads.
Just absolutely insane. Mm. All right. Well, mission success. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. That was like... I want to say that was at least nearly half an hour that took me. Maybe 25 minutes or something like that. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. When the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. I think the colonel's off his fucking tree, mate. Holy shit, my hands are cold. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? No, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a Walk with me, son. Please. I don't like this sky. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Thanks, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, Matt what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. What the fuck? St. John. This is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? 
go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. <sighs> no, sir. Can suck my balls. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Of course up. it has. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Hurry out. Whoopty doo, Basil. Important project. What project? Oh, what the fuck, man? Guys, got this long ass fucking entrance to his chambers. I mean, my chambers, sir, please. Uh, sir, I was. You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, colder cave down that way. Yeah, <laughs> I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's a Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on... I'm gonna have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Woohoo! I gotta need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. Gonna need Molotovs. <laughs> I get the best shit on Wizard Island. No, you don't. There you go. Okay, now that's more like it. Oh, big spender. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Can we punch this guy in the yeah, fucking head? Yeah, make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> so, Booze's shotgun would probably be best for this. 
There you go. Okay. Thirty shots. Not bad of it. I'll see you around, yeah? Hey, fuck off. Alright, well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode, but if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Alright, peace.